What's up everyone, I'm Sean from Buffalo Gaming 39 YouTube channel, Buffalo Gaming 30 on Twitch. I am making this video because I think we gotta, I think this is well overdue. We are five days from my first video of a new style. On Christmas I'm releasing a Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You video. Where I go talk about that song, it's gonna start a new era of the channel. Of which I talk about music, it's mainly gonna be about metal. Emo, other like those styles of music, but but I thought I'd do this one pop song for the fun of it for Christmas. That comes out in five days. I'm posting this day of recording. I felt like I should make a video thanking anyone that was here through 2023 on my Twitch on YouTube. I think I posted in 2023. Right? I, I made videos this year. Did I? <laughs> yeah, I made the Pokemon Nuzlocke videos and some a lot of Madden content this year. Really on the sports game train. So I stopped posting around in May because I just, it just wasn't what I was wanting to do, but it's fine. I want to thank everyone for a great year. This was one of my, I think, my best years view-wise on the channel, even if it was stuff I didn't enjoy. It had some of my most views I've ever had in a single year, surprisingly. Um, what really made me, I, I'm going to bring this up, what really made me want to do this music stuff was my um, music reactions. I did music video reactions this year. Music Mondays, reacting to Sleep Tokens, Do You Wish That You Love Me, reacting to Ghost Jesus, He Knows Me. That Jesus, He Knows Me video got about almost 200 views. Anytime I do something ghost on social media, it just goes good. Um, ghost is just apparently the way. I never thought that would be the case, but here we are. It just seems to be it. Um, the Bring Me, to the, Bring me the Horizon reaction video was, went fucked. That didn't go well. That one did terrible. That was because I went through a month where it wasn't viewable because uh, it was copyright blocked. But I made a um, copyright claim. <laughs> I, I What I did was I kind of refuted the claim. And it, I won because I have a little bit of understanding. Copyright law and music reactions. And... I made it transformative content. I talked about the song. I mean, there's more me talking than music and shit. That's why I think I'm going to be able to do the music stuff fine. I know I know fair use. I, I know how to make it transformative content. I might have to... No, the Mariah Carey video. I'll just make sure there's no blockage of any sort beforehand. But I have fair use on that. I, I really hope that doesn't get copyrighted. I probably should do the upload now just to make sure but yeah i do but yeah i want to thank all of you that were here this year on the youtube channel i know it wasn't much i posted some of the least amount of videos i think this year i've ever posted in my life and next year i don't think that's going to improve <laughs> i'm i'm working on extremely extremely long videos i only just got to writing the second script for my, um, for the next music, like, video essay that I'm doing. I have some planned. I think I'm going to go through what I have planned real quick. Because I have a decent amount. So, I want to do... There was a point in time. I mean, their, their monthly listeners don't show it, but Green Day's fall from being a pop punk band or just a punk artist <laughs> this one i'm working on with a friend that i just have to record the script's finished uh, the Fina five nights of freddy's movie uses its music it's going to be on the shorter side i didn't have much to say it's only a four page script the mariah carey script is longer yeah no the mariah carey script's actually shorter i'm realizing that because I have a lot of breaks in between. So the FNAF video might be slightly longer than Mariah Carey. Actually kind of good to know. Because Mariah Carey wasn't supposed to be some long video or something. 
it's meant to be um it's meant to be a little fun Christmas thing that I'm doing for all of you. But I still I gotta get the footage for that FNAF music review. I wanna talk about Green Day, um how they've kind of become a cringe dad rock kind of band recently. Um their their new songs are actually kinda good, so they are somewhat coming back. I want to, this one I might not even do a script for. I might just scrap the idea of a script, um, ranking Avenged Sevenfold's albums. That's kind of me just shitting about music, talking about it. I might just leave that. And then the big one, the big video that I'm hoping does really well, of which I'm definitely going to talk about. I don't know if any of you ever heard of an artist named TX2. He's kind of taken over a little bit of the emo scene recently. Um, his music's pretty good, in my opinion. Potential um, industry pump. I don't want to get into him too much because just simply that's a video I want to write. Like this one, I think is going to take the longest because this one I'm going to go into multiple songs, go into a lot of detail about his the the opinions on the guy on the internet because it's not good opinions. I'm going to be honest. No one, a lot of people don't like him. <laughs> so I'm going to go through that probably as that goes through. But yeah, that that's some of the plans I got coming up. Um, On the Twitch side of things, I do want to thank anyone that's joined the Twitch streams. This year alone, I doubled my follower count. I believe in 2022, around the tail end of 2022, I was at about 80 followers. Here at the end of 2023, I'm at about 160. I'm at about 160 here at the tail end of the year. Tail end last year, I was at about 80. It's grown about double the size it was. I'm really hoping to keep it going. The 24-hour streams this year were fun. Those were something. I remember some drunk dude gave me about 35 gifted subs and that went really well for whatever reason. But yeah. That was fun. Those 24 hour streams. I'm never doing them again. I might do um, like 48, 72 hours but with sleep breaks and shit. If you want to see that, comment below. Follow the Twitch. It's Buffalo Gaming 30 on Twitch. But yeah. And also, I do want to thank the, um, I, I do want to shout out and thank, okay, Fine Apple, a, uh, Twitch streamer, mainly a Just Chatting streamer. I've been modding that channel for a bit. They've become good friends of mine. They, I think I made them mod on my channel as well. They're a good friend of mine. They, I'm not the biggest tarot guy. I don't really believe in it too much, but if you do... They do that every once in a while. They're, they're a tarot streamer mainly, but they'll play games. They do just chatting. A lot of people in there that don't really believe in tarot at all. Um, So it's not like if you don't believe in tarot, you're going to get shunned out of there. I mean, I'm a mod, and I really don't believe in that kind of stuff. Um, I'm mainly joshing around in there most of the time, making satanic jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Satan any any time that's going on. But yeah. I do want to thank that channel. That channel has definitely been one of the biggest reasons I'm still doing this. It's a little bit more of an inspiration. To just kind of keep going at this. Not give up at all. And I also do want to thank Billy the Mighty Dolphin. He has been doing video essay style content for a while on video games. It's part of why I'm doing it for music. Um, when I originally wrote, here's a fun little story. When I originally wrote the script for the Finance Freddy's movie, Music, how it uses music, it was supposed to be a double upload with him. He's been a friend of mine since kindergarten. Um, it was supposed to be a double upload with him. He was going to make a video about the FNAF movie's lore itself, like the story, an actual movie review, because he um, currently going to college for um, as a film major. First, he was really set on that. He was the first ever freshman I've met in my life that knew his major freshman year. 
But I wrote this script to double upload with him. That's why it's on the shorter side. I probably could go in more detail. But I don't really plan to. Again, it's just not... It's something I think would be fun to talk about. It's not something I'm extremely, like, passionate about. And that's about the same with the Mariah Carey thing. I'm, like, I'm not super passionate about about the Mariah Carey video. I just thought it would be a fun little Christmas video and kind of introduce the style that I have. <laughs> that's kind of, like, how that's kind of going a little bit. But, yeah, I... Gotta thank him. He's, um... Part of the reason I'm doing these video essay style contents now, um, I also watched a lot of Scott the Waz this year for whatever reason. That definitely led to this, but uh, when it comes to YouTube, I really have lost any and like all current um, inspiration for this site. Streaming is easy. I kind of just do whatever the fuck I want, talk about what I want. When it comes to YouTube, these vid their videos, they're planned out, right? So, it's just a bit harder. I had the inspiration with all the Madden content and the NHL content. But the problem with Madden content is what happened was I did the finale to the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. Like, season three was the last season. And then I was going to move on to the Green Bay Packers in the same, like, universe or whatever. When I went to the Green Bay Packers, that's like kind of not Madden franchise. It's kind of when I lost it. I really lost the care for it. That Steelers franchise is still one of my favorite series of all time that I've ever made. It's the I think it's the longest. Um, I got to be honest, but I started that all the way back, all the way back in 2022. I think September. <laughs> No, October 2022 is when that series started. Yeah. I do count late 2022 as part of the 2023 because a lot of stuff that was in late, that was in late 2022 bled over. So I kind of look at that a little bit. I do got to say, I think I made the Mighty Rejects this year. That channel was, while it didn't do what I wish it did. Yeah, was that 2023? Yeah, that was made November. I haven't made September. It was, um, a lot of content got made for that channel. Um, we started back in October 2022 with it. The channel, we haven't posted on it in a lot, very long time. It was really fun. What probably could happen is I could revive this channel where me and Bill just play a short game for like 20 minutes and just do this because this was really fun i thought it was funny it's one of some of my favorite content i think if i talked about bill like we sat for like 20 minutes to play a random game i think we could do it again but i don't know we kind of lost kind of lost um inspiration in that channel pretty early on i mean part of it was just straight up we had shit planned. I had... I actually still have videos that were never <laughs> released. Um, <laughs> there are videos that have yet to be released on that channel. But it, it was a... It's a channel that does require a lot of work. Because... Whoa. Camera fucked up there. When, when you're working on a channel that requires two people to be cooperating at the same time, who also live under completely different schedules in their day, like, we're both busy. Like, on our own time. And... With the camera, just fit at the screen, you moron. Um, when you have two people who are busy people in life, but the schedules are very different from each other, you really don't have the time for a channel like that. Which is why, if we do those type of videos again, it might just be posted on this channel. Um, but this channel was a really fun idea. It's just. When you look at the last couple uploads, um, two of them don't even have thumbnails. Like, we really did lose the care on this. One, one of the videos that really made it hard to want to continue this was I wanted to do um, a series on there 
on Pokemon Black and White. I wanted to do a Solok Nuzlocke. Because I'm in the Nuzlocke and shit. If you go on my Twitch streams, I, I play them every once in a while. Like, I'm into that kind of shit. And editing kind of... That, that was... That was when we made the decision none of it was going to be edited. It was just all raw footage. No editing, really, at all. That's kind of when that decision was really made. But it was also part of what kind of killed it. Because that video idea was, like, really fun in my mind. And I really wanted to do it. And when I just could couldn't, I was like, eh. There's not much left. Another thing that killed it, my, <laughs> my PS2 emulator decided to stop working. Uh, <laughs> when we were in the middle of that. And a lot of our games were, like, shitty PS2 games. Um, And I didn't want to backseat game every PS2 game that we wanted to do. Um, What really killed my enthusiasm was when we were trying to do Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And everything just kept dying on me. <laughs> That channel just d decided not to just decided not to work out. Every technological malfunction I've ever had just ever happened on that on that channel. That's why I kind of don't do the gaming on YouTube much anymore and just do it on Twitch. <laughs> if it happens live on Twitch, I can just switch to watching Dance Moms or something. But yeah. Me and Bill made that channel. Really fun. I do recommend checking it out. Um, it's never going to get a video again. But I do recommend checking out The Mighty Rejects full fully. It's one of the funniest channels I think I've ever I've ever done. Um, the thumbnails are some of my favorite. The um, On Halloween. On Halloween. We released the FNAF 4 video. I, I had like four FNAF videos I wanted. I wanted golden. I wanted FNAF 1, 2, 3, and 4. One, 1 through 3 leading up to Halloween. 4 being on Halloween. It didn't really follow our upload schedule that I kind of decided on. But that's because I just wanted to get out a Halloween video. Battle of the Shaggies is a good one. Um, I, I The Hat in Time video we made, my opinion was not as good as the view count suggests. <laughs> That's one of my least favorite, actually. My most favorite has to be... Oh, where is it? Bart Simpson goes on American Idol. This one's got to be the funniest. Just straight up because Bill's mom walked in his room while we're just singing Viva La Vida Loca. <laughs> That's one of my favorite moments on a video ever. Uh... I re-uploaded some of the finance, um, the some of the security breach videos on the here. Um, up to DJ Music Man, the entire series is on this channel though. But I I kind of did that. But yeah, go check out this channel. It's one of the most hilarious. I committing war crimes. The penis music was really funny. We get really annoying sometimes. Everything was in the spur. It was all. This is the one thing with Bill that really made this channel not work as well as I kind of want it to. Bill's more of a scripted guy. The improv ain't really there sometimes. I'm better with the improv just because I stream more often. He's a really good improv guy too, but like I sometimes can come up with some things in the heat of the moment a little bit better. Thanks, Twitch. You make my life easier on YouTube when I don't when I'm lazy, but yeah, go check out that channel, even if we don't post on it anymore, um, it's a really funny channel, but yeah, that, that was, a, a lot of shit happened this year, man, a lot of shit, Twitch happened, YouTube, more YouTube stuff has been going on, I mean, it's been a rough year too, for me, emotionally, but it, this stuff really helps through that. The content I made this year, I'm somewhat happy with. I'm not fully. I feel like I copped out a bit. I think the Mighty Rejects content I made this year should have been on this channel. I think this channel would have been better off with that content. And I think moving it into a different channel was a huge mistake on my end. 
But yeah. But when you go through like what I was doing on YouTube, there's a reason I stopped posting in May. I just wasn't feeling what I was doing. I was feeling the music reactions. Those I was feeling, but I don't just see I don't see new music often, but I think we're going to definitely have music reactions as we um continue out through this next year. Um like I'm going to I'm not going to have all scripted content. I'm going to have a lot of scripted content. It won't be all scripted content. The scripted content will come when I think of ideas and stuff. And right now it's about five ideas and some of them might not even be scripted. I'm going to do like album rankings of bands I like. Those I might just not script at all. But yeah, I have I have a, I have plans for 2024 on YouTube and it's not the post often. Um when I was doing Madden and NHL, the goal was quantity over quality. Um I think the Steelers series was quality. The Packers and the Washington Commanders NHL franchise, those were really just quantity over quantity when it came to videos, and I want to work on quality over quantity over this next year. So video uploads will be slower. The first true upload since May begins on the 25th on Christmas, five days from now. And, yeah. That's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where I'm at with the channel. Um, this might be the first video that my face is ever shown. No, the Nuzlocke's happened. But yeah, I think that's where we're at with the channel. I think that's fine. Thank you all for watching this video. Just kind of talked about some stuff. Um, talked about future plans, how the year went. Thanks some people. Um, thank you for a great 2023. This, in reality, was one of the best years I've had in a very long time. Ever since COVID, everything's gone downhill. This year, shit went uphill for the first time in a long time. So, thank you all for a great 2023. I hope to see you all for a wonderful 2024. See you in the Mariah Carey video.